Big news SEC will force TO sell your XRP. Is it possible to relist XRP on Coinbase? What will such an event lead to? We will answer these questions in today's video. The current price of XRP for today is 0. 35 US dollars, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1360000000 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 30% in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, has not been definitive over the past few days. Last week, the RSI held a neutral value of 50 as support, but recently this level has not passed. Thus, there may be some volatile dynamics during the weekend. Similarly, the Awesome Oscillator, AO, was also below zero. He has not yet shown a strong bearish impulse. The A-D line had a resistance zone that was directly overhead and was indicated by two dotted white lines. If A-D can overcome this region, it will be a sign of sustained demand for the XRP rally. The Directional Movement Index, DMI, showed the absence of a strong trend. ADX, yellow, it was at level 20, ADI just above the 20 mark. Technically, this indicated a bearish trend, but in general meant the absence of a significant trend over the past few days. The $0. 35 dash dollar zero. 36 range will be important to protect the bulls over the next day or two. The formation of a lower low below this area will signal bearish strength. Momentum indicators were inconclusive on the lower time frames. Bitcoin could also strongly influence the direction of XRP in the near future. John Deaton, a lawyer representing more than 72,000 XRP holders in a lawsuit against the SEC, told more about Bill Hinman, a former senior SEC official and about the conflict of interest regarding cryptocurrency supervision. According to Deaton's lawyer, despite the fact that Hinman headed the SEC's corporate finance department, he still received more than $9 million in profit sharing from Simpson Thatcher Bartlett LLP, a partner of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, EA. Lawyer Deaton shared documents showing how much Hinman received from the distribution of profits in the period from 2017 to 2018, when he made a controversial speech and actually gave the green light Ethereum. Hinman received $7.8 million in profit sharing in 2017 and another $1. 8 million in 2018. Deaton's lawyer added that the funds paid to Hinman as a profit distribution prompted the agency's ethics office to prohibit him from meeting with Simpson Thatcher while he was at the SEC. The solution was to prevent Hinman from having a conflict of interest while working at the agency. This is because Simpson Thatcher was affiliated with EA, an organization created to promote Ethereum as an enterprise solution. Receiving any form of payment from the company could encourage Hinman to work in favor of the company. Despite the warnings, Hinman still met with Simpson Thatcher employees several times. That's why a complete ban was imposed on any contact with Simpson Thatcher. However, he repeatedly failed to comply with the requirements of the SEC Ethics Office, Deaton's lawyer said. 2017 Hinman got $7. ADEM in profit sharing and 2018 he got $1. ADEM in profit sharing in addition to retirement money. This is why there was a complete criminal bar against him having any contact with Simpson Thatcher. Yet, he disobeyed the SEC Ethics Office again and again. Hinman is considered an integral part of the ongoing litigation between the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple. For several months, Ripple has been demanding internal documents for Hinman's speech in 2018, where he declared Ethereum not a security. Ripple believes that during the preparation of Hinman's speech in 2018, some SEC representatives discussed Ripple, given its popularity at the time. However, all attempts to get a draft of Hinman's speech did not yield positive results. The SEC has consistently objected to the judge's orders to hand over the documents to Ripple. Deaton's lawyer said that the agency would rather agree to negotiate with Ripple than transfer Hinman's documents to a blockchain company. The giant of card and payment systems MasterCard has announced a partnership with the world's largest crypto exchange Binance to launch crypto payments in stores and online, while MasterCard's competitor Visa has also increased the number of its crypto payment cards. After concluding a deal with Binance, MasterCard is going to launch a payment card with support for 14 cryptocurrencies, including Tether, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Cardano, Solana, XRP, and others. The crypto card will allow users to pay for everyday purchases using the cryptocurrency that they have on their Binance accounts. The card converts cryptocurrencies into fiat currency at the point of sale and will be launched in Argentina for the first time ahead of a planned wider rollout that will support about 90 million online and offline stores. We can unlock the full potential of blockchain technology when we simplify access to it and simplify its use, MasterCard CEO Michael Mibak wrote in a LinkedIn post. 
One way to do this is to bring cryptocurrency into everyday purchases. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, in a tweet on Monday, denied accusations by crypto leaker CryptoLeaks that he funded a law firm specializing in cryptocurrency, run by Kyle Roche, to pursue competing crypto firms in lawsuits in order to divert the attention of regulators. I cannot comment on the validity of the many accusations cited here, but I can unequivocally say that I have never met or talked with Kyle Roche, much less invested in him, Garlinghouse writes in his tweet. Can't comment on the validity of the slew of allegations in here, but I can unequivocally say that I have never met or spoken to, much less invested in, Kyle Roche. It is worth noting that in a long blog post containing several short videos in which statements were recorded by Kyle Roche, the founding partner of Roche Friedman, CryptoLeaks claims that Ava Labs, the company behind the Avalanche network, hired Kyle Roche to file lawsuits against competing firms in order to distract the attention of financial regulators. It is noteworthy that CryptoLeaks accuses the head of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, of lighting the fuse by agreeing to the offer of Roche, at that time an employee of the firm hired by Ripple, to invest in a new law firm that will use the tactics described above. Ava Labs founder Emin Gunsire, in response to the accusations, called them a ridiculous conspiracy theory. Sire claims that the firm has never engaged in such illegal practices. The cryptocurrency community continues to criticize Gary Gensler and the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, for their approach to regulating cryptocurrencies. Crypto investors believe that the SEC's regulatory tactics in the crypto space are unfriendly compared to other financial markets. Ryan Selkies, founder of Messari, criticized Gensler for focusing mainly on seizing SEC power over the entire crypto sector instead of prioritizing investor protection. According to Selkies, Gensler's negligent attitude to investor protection resulted in $7 billion in losses as a result of SEC fraud, due to its inability to approve a spot ETF at the expense of investors in Grayscale. Last year, $1 billion was lost due to cryptocurrency fraud. $7 billion was lost due to fraud by the SEC, which failed to approve a spot ETF at the expense of investors in Grayscale. Gary Gensler does not care about protecting investors, promoting capital accumulation, or ensuring equity in the markets. He cares about power. $1 billion was lost to crypto fraud last year. $7 billion has been lost to the SEC's fraud in failing to approve a spot ETF at the expense of grayscale investors. At Gary Gensler doesn't care about protecting investors, promoting capital formation, or making markets fair. He cares about power. Selkie's tweet provoked a reaction from lawyer John Deaton. He criticized the SEC for causing losses to XRP investors in the amount of $15 billion when the agency accused Ripple of allegedly offering unregistered securities in the United States. Attorney Deaton, who currently represents more than 72,000 XRP holders in a class action lawsuit against the SEC, said the agency deliberately decided not to limit its charges against the Silicon Valley company to specific sales. However, the Securities and Exchange Commission has marked all XRP sales, including on secondary markets, as unregistered securities. This prompted all American cryptocurrency exchanges, including Coinbase, to exclude XRP from the list of their trading platforms. Thus, XRP investors suffered losses in the amount of $15 billion. And $15 billion was lost because the SEC deliberately decided not to limit the charges against Ripple to specific sales made by Ripple and its executives, but instead stated that all XRP, including XRP sales on the secondary market, are unregistered securities. And $15 billion was lost because the SEC intentionally chose not limit the allegations against Ripple to specific sales made by Ripple and its executives but instead alleged all XRP including secondary market sales of XRP are unregistered securities. Recently, the SEC and its head have been sharply criticized for threatening the existence of the cryptocurrency market in the United States. As the SEC seeks to gain full control over all crypto assets other than Bitcoin, stakeholders have called on the agency to provide regulatory clarity for the emerging market. However, the agency ignored the calls of many people, including Forbes expert Rosalind Layton, who accused the SEC of preferring regulation by coercion rather than regulation by the rules. Since 2017, the agency has filed more than 200 charges against crypto firms, including a lawsuit against Ripple. Currently, there is no guarantee that the SEC will work with industry stakeholders in the near future to develop clearer regulatory guidelines for cryptocurrencies. What do you think are the prospects for XRP in 2023? Write your forecasts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video to the end, please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos and do not forget about our contest, write in the XRP comments to add 500 XRP to your account.